What's happening, YouTubers? It's your boy CB, and we are back for my favorite segment on the channel, Huddle Watch Alongs with Recruits. On today's episode, for you guys that like DB play and guys that can change the momentum of the game on the defensive side of the field, you have clicked on the right video. 2026 three-star DB Rodarian RJ Jones, we're going to call him RJ on the show, is a absolute playmaker in the secondary one of those guys that you hear a shutdown corner, you hear a lockdown DB a lot, and it's thrown out a little bit too much. RJ has those skills in spades. One of the guys, like I said, that can change the course of a game, the feeling, the momentum of a game by his playmaking ability on defense. But you don't want to hear from me. You're going to want to hear from the superstar himself. Fresh off practice, three-star DB in the 2026 clash, RJ Jones. How we doing, bro? Doing good. How about yourself? I, I'm doing good down here. You you fresh out of practice. And uh, so this, this is for everyone watching. We're recording this Monday. It's going to drop Tuesday. So when I say yesterday, we talk about Monday. So we know y'all are preparing. Obviously, there's some weather coming down there. We're going to get into that in a second. But I want to jump right into it, bro, because you you made a, a, a change this year. You not, not a whole different state and school. What What's that been like, that, that transition over there to uh, – to your new school man it's been good it's like it's mostly been i want to say it's been a bad transition but it's just getting used to it like everything down in south florida like 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 i said earlier the heat <laughs> the weather all that all that stuff it's been, it's been a big change do you remember your, your first moment when you was like oh it's hot for real down here first day yeah <laughs> <laughs> or it got like had us running on the track, like lifting weights on the track. I'm like, man, I ain't, I ain't messing with it. Yeah, it was, them South Florida boys are different, boy. That. <laughs> Other than that, what would you say is the biggest difference from the style of football coming from Georgia and now being in South Florida? I definitely say like they throw the ball a lot down there. They throw the ball a lot. The receivers they quicker, faster, all that. But you know, South Florida, they everybody like. Receiver How much are you enjoying getting to compete against them receiver? Because I know you had to hear it last year. You you up there, you hearing all your homeboys and everybody saying, "Yeah, but the, but the receivers in Florida." Now you get to compete against them. How much are you enjoying getting to compete against some of those top guys? I enjoy it very much. I like to compete against anybody. I don't care who it is. Who in front of me? But like, yeah, I enjoy it. I like that competitive spirit. That, but you got that South Florida competitive spirit, not even from South Florida. Bro, say, I don't care, man. Put somebody in front of me. Stars be damned. I'm, I'm finna lock them down. So we gonna, we got to touch on some recruiting because I feel like every time I open my Twitter, RJ, it's a new one. And I, I'm not saying that just to say that. Literally last night, I'm scrolling. FAU, all right, scrolling. All right, you got another new one. What's that been like, uh, that, that recruiting process? Starting to really take off for you. How busy has that been for you? It's been real busy. I'm just, I'm just being this position, though. Like, yeah, that's all it is, though. But yeah, it's been going good. You know, they, I've been in communication, like school that have offered me and like the ones that just recently offered. So it's been going good. There's a couple schools I want to touch on, but I gotta, I gotta start with the the OG hometown school. So you've gotten to not only see a game at Georgia in person, but you got to go down there and compete as well. What was that that experience like competing at that camp? Oh, it was, it was good. I went down there for a game a couple times. And I, I went to the camp. It was real. It was real good, competitive. A bunch of like a bunch of great players. So like, I got some good. Like I talked to the DB coach. I talked to Kirby too. So it was like, it was all good. What were your first impressions of Kirby? Because you know. From the outside looking in, from a fan's perspective, they see, oh, two-time national championship coach. He probably scary to talk to, blah, blah, blah. What was that like, at actually getting to talk to to the, the head honcho over there at Ugga? Oh, it was good. He's a cool, he's a cool guy. He's going to tell you the real. Like, it's, he, it's not, he's just, I feel like he's a chill person. He ain't really like, but when, like, when the game starts, he's like, he just, that's what you see. On yeah, yeah, he probably way different. He probably way different when that when when the bells start ringing. He because he a defensive coach too, or uh, you know that dude different. But I, I I like that that you're starting to build that relationship with him too, so that you know when it's time when they get that recruiting board, it's like all right, who we got in twenty six? He gonna be like, oh, what DBs we got? We got RJ up there because he he got that relationship. He's seen you compete 
against the other top guys in the state. So it's going to be in the back of his mind. Are we going to stay on recruiting? We're not going to touch on everybody because bro's list is kind of long. But there's some of these I have to touch on. Obviously, the Miami Hurricanes got the offer from them. And you've been down there a couple times. What What's that relationship down there like with Coach Cristobal and the Canes? Yeah, it's been good. I, uh, I went there probably like before the season started. Um, I think it was like a pool party or something like that. Yeah, yeah that's the yeah, that's that's the red carpet event, bro. We call that the the recruiting red carpet. Everybody was there. Like, <laughs> all those but you know, I um I built a relationship with Coach Jackson, the DB coach. He texts me, he texts me like every every now and then. Like, so it's been good. It's been a bit like I've been there a couple times, but it's been good. So for a lot of Canes fans, Coach Jackson is fairly new. You know, he's he's the DB coach this year. He just came on this year. So for a lot of us, we don't really have much insight to him yet. What's he What's he like? What's it like to just chop it up with Coach Jackson? It was good. He tells me like he tells me every night he want me to come play down there. He he send me stuff about like how like how they prioritize like true freshmen like DBs and stuff like that. Like, but he's cool. Like, I went there. I camped a little bit, just did drills, like, with all the other, like, recruits and stuff. Like, he's, like, hands-on coach. So, yeah, he's cool, though. How much does that weigh into your future decision? You see O.J. Frederick, yeah, yeah, yeah. criminally underrated, was only a three-star coming out. But he showed up, put in the work, day one starter. How much does seeing a guy like O.J. get a chance as a true freshman helps you stay interested in Miami? Yeah, that probably, I prioritize that a lot because like I want to come in like contribute, you know. So that that definitely like what he's saying. And it's it's easy to tell you on paper or to tell you at a camp, hey, bro, we we play our freshmen. It's easy to say that, but then you turn on ESPN and oh, OJ out there, Zaquan getting getting snaps. You see Jordan Lyle, you see Elijah Lofton. If you put in the work down there at Miami. You're gonna earn yourself some play time. So we're gonna stay in Florida for a little bit. Cause you you you've been collecting them like infinity stones in Florida. We're gonna go straight to the rival, Florida State. Got that offer as well. Also been down there. What's that relationship like down there with Coach Norvell and that staff? Yeah, I've been down there a couple of times for camp and all that other stuff. It's been good. Uh they send me like they send me graphics and stuff all the time. So like it's been it's been good. I definitely want to get down there. What's that atmosphere like like down there at, at FSU? Games, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> the atmosphere, wow, everything. On the board, fast. Yeah, I bet that. I, I can't do it. You, you know they're going to kill me in the comments, so I can't do it. But <laughs> I know I know it's got to be loud. Them game day atmosphere has got to be fun. Before we move on to our next school, what are some of the things you like to look for when you are – visiting for a game when you're at a florida game when you're at a florida state game or a miami game what are some of the things you're looking for you know i just look for like the atmosphere like the coaches and stuff like that mm -hmm. you know i just look at all that all that stuff so like, i'm more so at the game you know i just i just watch the game really so like, i'm looking at everything what kind of defense like they running like who all, who all in and stuff like that. So like I said, bro, we staying in Florida. We really we could do an hour here and never get out of Florida when it comes to schools. So we're gonna go to UCF, moved into the Big 12, did some great things with that class last year. This year's class is shaping up to be really good. Guys like Wade and Charles coming in the class. What's that relationship like down there with UCF? I haven't even visited yet, but I talked to Coach Addison, uh DB call. I talked to him a lot. Like <laughs> So like that's been good. He texts me every now and then. I I'm, think I'm going to get up there for a game like real soon. But I like I love UCL. Like the word that like the rest they going. Like it's fun. Hey, Coach Addison, we got you. Got to get him down there for a game, bro. Let let's let's get that done asap. So last Florida school. Cause I know people in the comments like, man, talk about another school, another state. But when when you do play football down there. These are the these are the the scholarships you want. These are the schools that are on your checklist. That Florida offer, obviously, not having a great year this year, but let's not let's keep it a buck. They have a tradition of fantastic defense at that school, an SEC school. You know they're known for speed and defense. What's that relationship like with that Florida staff? Yeah, I think I went down there a couple. Uh, I went down there recently, like a couple weeks ago, and like we had to do a photo shoot for like Tom Lambing and some other. Like we went down there. I met Coach Will. He's a cool guy. Cool. I met Coach Will. Like, 
as on coast. I went there and camped too before the season, so it was good. And then, like I said, so we gonna we had for those of y'all in the comments, like, hey man, I'm a Louisville fan. We got you. So it's not just the offers; it's the schools that if you go on the timeline are consistently showing love. One of those I wanted to shout out was Louisville. They look like they look like they're not about to let you have a game day without a graphic, bro. What's that relationship like with Louisville? The relationship with Louisville is good. They text me like every other day too. I uh, I talk to me coach probably like like a week ago. Like it's been good, and I'm a, I'm a big fan of Quincy Riley. Like, I love Quincy Riley. One of the top corners in college football, so like, you definitely see him there doing his thing. Like that's right. what's it like balancing all that, bro? Because you you got your goals for the season, obviously, right? You got workouts with the school, without the school. We know you do your work on your own. You got homework. You got you got to still have a life. You got to be a son. You got to be a boyfriend. You got to be a best friend. And then you got recruiting, answering emails, answering texts. You got to step out of class because the coach want to see you. And you it may be a class you, hey, I can't step out of this one. I need to be in here. And then you got visits, your visit schedule as well. What's it like balancing all that, bro, and still trying to just be RJ? Not not the not, not the star DB RJ. You just trying to be a regular person. How is it balancing recruiting football and trying to have a life? I mean, I want to say it's hard. Like, it's, just, it's just me being myself really like, you know, I don't really – think of it too much you know it's just like i think of it just something that i have to do but like in order to like just be the person i am like i have to like like order school like then like work out you know like prioritize everything really so you look at it like almost from a business perspective where it's like all right this is just what needs to be done like all right got this visit on the seven just gonna get done no matter if i'm tired whatever this this is the this is the next four things I got to do, and I'm just gonna do them. Right. That's a that's a very mature way of looking at recruiting. Before we get into the film, where does that come from? What where does the no, no freak out? Because you didn't say, man. Sometimes I freak. You don't you don't seem like you panic or freak out. Look, I can I can do this, and I can't do this. I got to do my schoolwork. If I got to visit this weekend, I'll make sure I prioritize that visit. Make sure I'm you know not stepping out on my 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 teammates. Where does that mindset come from, bro? That's very mature to look at it as, well, it's just something that needs to be done, so I'm going to just get it done. Man, I couldn't even tell you, man. Like, <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It's just like in me, I get like, it's just, like, I want to say I get it from it. Like, anybody in particular, it's just, that's just how I think of it. It's, so, it's such a mature way because if you think about it, from the outside looking in, being that busy, phone ringing constantly, somebody wants you to come visit, it feels like it could be overwhelming. So I like that you approach it from like, I mean, it's just it just is what it is. I'll just make sure I'm not overworking myself. And I'll just, it, you're very nonchalant about, like, I know it's, it's hard because you said it's not easy, but I still just got to make sure I'm prioritizing things right. And it's good to go. It's That's a very mature way to look at this. And for those of y'all going, hey, man, I want to see him pick some balls off. I got to ask you now, RJ, as a DB, What's more enjoyable for you, bro? Pick six or when you get to shut down a star receiver for a whole game? I have to say, ooh, that's that's <laughs> I ain't gonna give you no easy one now. I have to say shutting down a receiver the whole game. Like that just uh, it had more like more weight to it. Like he didn't call the pass all day. Like I done took him completely out of the game. So like, you know he when he when he built that huddle for the end of the year, he got skipped that Carroll game. He got skipped that Carroll City game. He got to tell his dude, "Hey, uh, don't don't even look at that game, bro. It's uh, I was blocking that game." The reason I kept rewinding this, the instincts here, bro. The instincts here, and then the playmaking ability. You used to play offense back in the day, didn't you? Yeah, like middle school. That's <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get on there now, man. So when you get an interception now, you gotta take it to the crib in your mind. You you turn into an offensive player. Hey, uh, OC, just uh, throw him one fade. I ain't saying you know what I'm saying. Maybe turn him into Travis Hunter, but throw my boy one fade. That's all we asking for. We just asking for one fade. One time, we go do one time. This is what I mean by instincts, bro. This ain't necessarily your assignment. Right. 
but you know well enough to know oh he finna do something stupid like he finna <laughs> he he seconds away from doing something what's it like for you in game when you can slow the game down and recognize oh this is a potential interception yeah, like this play right here, we were probably in cover three this play. I just read the quarterback. I seen he had fumbled the ball, so, like, I just stopped. Like, there ain't no point of me in just dealing no more. So, like, I seen him throw it. Shoot, I said, oh, I can go get this. Just dove and caught. All right, now. Come on, RJ. What's the sideline like after this? Because you dive and catch? Not just a pick, bro. A diving pick? From cover three, fam? What was the sideline like after this? It was lit. Like, I went by. Like, it was crazy. Is, that, is there a difference in trash talk from Georgia and South Florida? Uh, I'll say I'll say it is. I'll say this. Like, she was there. Talk, they'll talk a little more. They'll talk a little more than they were doing. I'll say that. They talk What's your favorite? Off man or press? I'll probably say I I'll say press. I'll say press for sure. Oh, you 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 don't just like shutting somebody down. You like letting them know they shut down all game. So he got he it's bad enough. He ain't gonna get no catches. You gotta put hands on him too. And then here, as a playmaker, were you upset with yourself? You ain't catch this. Yeah, yeah, I was upset. That's a hell of a play though, bro. That's a hell of a play. That was like, I could have got, that was my five star too. I catch that. Yeah. Have you always been your hardest critic like that? Whereas even if, when it's a great play like that, you still look at what you could have done? That's like, I could have still got that pit. They definitely let me know on the sideline too. Was like, <laughs> uh, what's the, what's the DB room like, bro? Are y'all, are y'all hold each other accountable like that? If somebody, somebody catch a pick and don't run it all the way back. You got to hear it when you get to the sideline. And I know you, so you, you play over there with a uh, shout out to one of the homies, uh, Jordan Campbell committed to the university of Miami. What's the, what's the atmosphere like there? I know y'all got some dogs on that defense. I know Jordan, one of them. What's the atmosphere like at practice, bro? Man, it's, man, it's, it's crazy. Like, like, like we did, we compete all the time. You know, we like that, but we on the same. I like, like I like how we look the same. And we definitely got some other dogs too, especially on our D line. Like we got some dogs like from Philly. Shout out my dogs that stream, man. I was gonna say, go ahead and give them a shout out, bro. Shout, shout out that defense. Yeah, shout out that stream, BT, all them boys, two Philly boys, them boys like that. Make our job real easy. You feel like playing at a competitive school playing when the practices are that competitive? It's going to give you a leg up when you do go to college? Oh, yeah, definitely. No, definitely. I, de I definitely think. It just prepares me, like, because, like, we, like, we have, like, other receivers that we go against. Shout out Shamar. Shamar Falls, he three-star commit, Coast Carolina. Like, he, he, like, he nice, too. Like, all, all them boys are nice. So, like, I'm getting, I'm getting good around some practice every day, so. Like, so like, when you see a receiver on Friday, you like, fam, <laughs> boy, you don't got a chance, dog. I've been dealing with this man all week. I'm, I'm definitely locking you down unless you got what he got and you ain't got what he got. So I know, I know, I'm locking you down. I keep rewinding this because when when they say blanket coverage, bro, this is what they mean when they say blanket coverage. So as a DB, that I know you got the confidence on the field. Right. You 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 feel some type of way when they try you like this? Oh, definitely. Like, oh. <laughs> Look crazy. I love that because you got to have that mindset, right? At DB, obviously you want to smoke, but it's also like, oh, y'all really think over here? No, sir. Then here, for someone with the ball skills you got, what I like about your take, what I like about you as a player. You also don't mind getting physical. You get physical. Coming downhill on fire, bro. You feel like that's a little bit underrated because you got the ball skills, because you can shut down a receiver for four quarters? I feel like that's definitely like an underrated part. Like, you know, I can come up and make it talk like, if, it, if it ever comes to that. So, yeah, Have you always liked the physical side of the game? Yeah, for sure. Like, it was, I like literally 
like literally I was playing like D tackle but like and literally it's so, like I all I had to like physical part. And you're not supposed to be able to have the 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 stop on a dime and recovery speed to make up for biting on the fake. How you get back yeah. after you bit? That don't, bro. This is supposed to work, RJ. Like <laughs> when you come up like this, this play is now supposed to work. Caught yourself, go back, and almost had the pick. How much does your defensive coordinator give you that trust that if he if he know you see something, just go attack it? I mean, yeah, I feel like that's a bit, bro. If you see it, like if you bite on it, you better make the play. But you know, I just, I just know there, like I could have, I see him. I don't think he passed a lot of scrimmage, so I just came back with the man. You know, just play the ball. Foot, see, this is what I mean by not scared of kind of foot in the ground. But this ball not even out yet. You, you saw hitch and gone. Hey, all all DBs with the ball skills you got don't like doing that, bro. That, that everybody don't like doing that. But it, foot in the ground, the instincts there too. That also tells me film study, bro. How much is film study important to you as a player? It's that like it, that's like real important. We watch film as a team, like at KC, like we watch like watch a lot of films, so like it makes it like easier, like when it's in the game, so like, you know what to expect. Like so, you just gotta go out there and make the plays. Dog, when I say you you come downhill like you a 250-pound linebacker, bro, throwing your body, I know everybody else on that defense love it when you do this. Because, like I said, when you see a star DB, you think, oh, that's that's a ball hawk. I know your defensive tackles love these highlights, though. Right. Yeah, I just couldn't make the tackle like, Yeah, fly that's the middle of the underrated part. And then playing safety and some corner. You like that versatility, that that, that ability that your DC gives you to, to do a little bit of everything? I definitely like that corner, safety, nickel. I played I played all of that in high school. I played that last year, my 10th grade. I played nickel my 10th grade year. I didn't play some safety this year. So, like, so I just, like, try to be versatile, like, not, not like, put in, like, just one place. That's gonna help at the next level because that's that's one less roster spot, right? True freshman came in, and all right, you may be the second boundary corner, but the nickel guy done got hurt. All right, RJ, we good? We got RJ. All right, he yeah, he may be our starting corner, but man, our free safety just went down. All right, we got RJ though. When you got a player like that, not just that can fill in, but it can give you quality reps anywhere in the secondary. That's a defensive coordinator's dream because now they can't key on you at all uh, an offense look at you they look at six they don't know where what you really doing because they could have you doing anything that versatility bro that that's why they offer she crazy it, it's that versatility so with that what kind of dbs you like watching the study bro because you again we're gonna see you right here again at safety we see you at nickel we see you at corner what are some of the dbs you like to study to uh take a little bit from their game and add to yours so I studied Trent McDuffie from the Chiefs, uh, Jesse Bates, the Falcons. Also, um, AJ Terrell from the Falcons. Uh, all of them. Devon Witherspoon from the Seahawks. And all of them. Even some uh, college, um, what's in there? He on um, Oregon. Uh, corner. He just transferred, but he played at Washington last year. He played at Washington. That, like Bill Johnson. So usually when I ask people who they study, you can always tell if they actually do or not. Bro rattled off 20 names just now. Have you always been like that where you don't just want to be good? You want to understand, all right, why the greats good too? Right. Yeah, definitely. Like what they do, like I can add to my game. Like, so I so for, for someone that, that studies the way you do, I know you had that moment where the game just started being a little bit slower. Do you attribute that to film study, or was that just something that happened with reps? I see it happen with reps, because, like, I think, I think like, the game is slowing down for me. Like, I was playing, like, varsity freshman, like, freshman year. Freshman year, so, like, probably, like, my second game, like, it's just all really slowed down for me. Like, just, all right, then, we got to unpack that. What was that like, bro? Because... A lot of people, you at least get that one year, right? You may play JV as a freshman, or you may be on the freshman team as a freshman. No shade to nobody to do that. 
But to be thrusted on Friday nights as a freshman, fresh off of middle school, freshman what foot. was that pressure like? I want to say I wouldn't even say it's pressure like because like they trusted me to like I was the best guy for the job even at like that young of a, like that young of an age so like they trusted me to do it and I just went out there you know and showed them why I was like why I should have that even as a freshman. So we see 2026, and you really a vet at this point, bro. You, you, you're, you're low-key a vet on varsity. How, how has that been transitioning to a, more of a leadership role? Because you've seen so many reps. You can you can look at a freshman. You can look at a someone, even someone else in your class that may be just starting this year. You can give them a little bit of guidance. How's that been? I mean, it's been good. Even like even with freshmen that, that aren't playing varsity, you know, I'm like, like just keep working, you know. You know, I was like probably the same size as you, but you know, like, but like, just keep working. You know, keep working. Even then, like the guys here, like I didn't, I didn't have like the experience, so I can like tell them something like that I might see, so that they can pick up on it and stuff like that. So you went from the freshman who's starting. You know, next year, bro, somebody gonna be waiting for you to uh, to leave and take your jersey. You know, there's gonna be a freshman or sophomore. That's looking at you like, damn, if RJ leave, I wonder if he's gonna give me his gloves. Like you you do realize that now you you big bro now. Yeah. It's crazy how fast that happens, right? You you I know you had somebody that you was like, I'm gonna get his back flap when he leave. Now the freshman like, damn, RJ had two picks last game. I hope I can get six when he leaves. I'm gonna try to get that number. Like it it happens that fast. Yeah, that fast. I was just little bro, like <laughs> probably. <laughs> Yeah, but like now I'm like I'm like yeah hell to like standing now like it's like they looking at me now. Hey, you go from little bro to big bro to unk real fast, bro. That transition fast, man. That transition is quick. So with that being said, so we watched the half the 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 midway tape, and for those of y'all like, hey, you gonna have them back? Yes, we gonna have them back on when the season over, so we can watch the full tape. But what's that goal for you? If you could, aside from state, I know y'all don't y'all don't break no huddle without thinking. We want to ring. But do you have an individual goal for the year that you want? I want to have at least, like, five picks. I have two right now. So give me, like, three more. Give me, like, three more. And I want to score on offense. That's it. Hey, Fade, coach. Who's coach. who's the offensive coordinator? What's his name? Coach Dingle. Coach Dingle. The wide receiver coach. Coach Dingle. Coach Dingle. Fam, I'm, I'm sliding in the DMs. And I'm just asking for one. I just want one fade, bro. Just fade my boy up real quick. He just want one. But that five, you getting that. You yeah. getting that five. We speak positivity out there. Ain't no if, it's when. So after you get the five picks and you score that fade, I'm in the DMs, coach. We're going to have you back on at the end of the season so we can watch that tape and talk about all the success you had. But before I let you go, I got to ask you this question. When you tired, bro. When you sore, when your body don't want to get up, when you had to come home from practice and somebody like me say, hey, bro, get in front of a camera. I want to talk to you. And your body is tired. What is that why that keeps you going, RJ? When when you done lifted, you ran, and you wake up in the morning and everything's sore, but you know you got to keep pushing. What's the why that keeps you going? I just think of my family, God. I, I know what I'm like. Just I'm, I'm coming to Miami. I know what I'm down here for. So, like, I ain't come, like, to waste no time and looking like that. So, like just do what I do whatever I need to do. Like so like I can get here, like go to whatever college I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to. Like so, like yeah, so be love that. I love you don't take that for granted. Bro. I love that your answer was first family, second off, hey, this is a sacrifice. Like everybody made a sacrifice so I can be here. And I, I love that you don't take that lightly. That you obviously I know they all rooting for you. I, I know they don't look at it as a sacrifice because they like, bro. They're going to do whatever they got to do for you to reach your goal. But I love that you still keep it in the back of your mind that, hey, I still got to put on for them, too. Like, they they ain't sent me down here to party now. They sent, me, they sent me down here to ball out. So I love that in the back of your mind, it's family first. And then the second, it's, yeah, but like I'm here for a goal. Like, I'm not, I'm not really here to have fun. I'm here to play ball. Bro, I wish you nothing but good health and success this year. I can't wait to see the end of the year film now because now I'm I'm trying to see if we can get the fade. I'm we 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 on the 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 train to get the fade, bro. I'm I'm a, I'm hitting DMs and we're gonna get that touchdown. And after that, we're gonna have you back on at the end of the year. But until then, let them know where they can follow you on Instagram and Twitter. Cause trust me, 
I'm going to get the question, how do I follow him? How do I follow him? And if he don't got the offer, he's either going to have it or we just ain't talk about it today just because we didn't talk about every offer. So if you are in the comments, make sure you follow RJ because when he do end up committing, then you're going to DM me and go, hey, what's his app? Follow him now. Let them know where they can follow you. Hey, you can follow me on Instagram at, R at RJ from the O, RJ for real, M D A O. And you can follow me on Twitter at RJ from the O one. Both of those will be linked. So all you got to do is click it. You're going to go straight to his pages. And I'm going to put his huddle down there. The reason I'm putting his huddle down there, because a lot of y'all are going to look at that schedule and go, oh, he played against so-and-so or he played against so-and-so. They like to break them games down one by one. So when you look and go, oh, RJ played this receiver and give up no catches, I got to watch that. So I'm going to link his huddle down there. So for the rest of the season, all you Miami fans, you Florida, Florida State fans, Michigan, LSU, Maryland, all of y'all, make sure y'all keep up with bro. Do not wait till y'all DMing me and asking me for I'm going to send you a link to this video. That's all I'm going to do. Go follow him right now. Thank you so much for coming on, bro. I wish you nothing but good health this year. We're going to run this thing back at the end of the year. Oh, like, share, and subscribe. I'm not joking. Go follow bro right now. If you say his followers ain't going up, it's me and y'all in the chat. We out.